My son, why do you bring shame to me by going around collecting alms of rice and food in this manner? You are of royal lineage, an heir to my throne. Or are you of the opinion that I cannot afford to provide you or your disciples with enough food myself? Father, at the moment of my enlightenment, I departed from the Sakyan royal family lineage and was established in the lineage of awakened Buddhas. My going for alms round is in accordance with the tradition of all Buddhas. The venerable Sangha also practiced this Buddhist convention. Father, please pay attention to this teaching. When a person clings to and indulges in form, feeling, perception, mental formations, and sense consciousness, that person is bound by the snare of Mara and burdened with the whole mass of suffering. When such a person doesn't cling or indulge in these, that person is freed from the snare of Mara and released from the whole mass of suffering. Please, may I invite you and all your disciples to receive alms food in the royal palace tomorrow morning. In the three days since your arrival in the palace, myself and Queen Mahabhajapati have listened to your teaching and developed in the Dharma more and more each day. However, Bimba, who was your wife, has not yet emerged from her room to approach you. She has stayed right there the whole time immersed in misery. I would like to invite you to please go and speak to her so that she also may benefit from your teaching. Father, I will go to teach Bimba, taking Venerable Mogalana and Venerable Sariputta, my left and right hand disciples with me. been so unkind to me, your wife. When you left for the holy life, you left in silence. Did I do something wrong to make you leave that way? If I did something wrong, then what was the fault of Rahula, born that very day, that you had to leave him bereft of a father? Bimba, don't be so melancholy. What I did was to help you and all beings that you might have a chance to know the way out of suffering. Bimba, we were born in this world for making merit together, as we have for many lifetimes. Now is the time to reflect on those births and lifetimes according to the truth as follows. I am of the nature to age. I have not gone beyond aging. I am of the nature to sicken. I have not gone beyond sickness. I am of the nature to die. I have not gone beyond dying. All that is mine, beloved and pleasing, will become otherwise, will become separated from me. I am the owner of my karma, heir to my karma, born of my karma, abide supported by my karma. 
whatever comma I shall do, for good or for ill, of that I will be the heir.'"